I really have one main specific goal in my life, and it's to be the first female in the NBA. Olivia, every single time when things get difficult on the court, she is that player that always welcomes it, steps up, executes under pressure when the adversity strikes. Honestly, Liv grew up on the basketball court. When we would get home, she would want to spend more time with me doing these drills, just one-on-one. -on -one. And I was just blown away by how quickly that she was developing. My name's Olivia Harness. I'm 11 years old and I'm a basketball player. I got into basketball growing up watching my older sister play. I went to all her games as I was little and one day I just, I kind of just wanted to start playing basketball because I kept seeing her because uh, she was really good and I kind of just wanted to follow in her footsteps. She's always been at every one of Tatiana's games. So she grew up just watching everybody practice, all the games, and as soon as she could dribble, probably at the age of two, three maybe, she was dribbling. I was training older players, um, including her older sister, so four or five years older. And Olivia would always want to be a part of those trainings while she was much, much younger, so we're talking like four years old, she would be able to keep up with all of them. My training schedule is pretty much packed. Um, I start off, I wake up. She'll have her breakfast. She'll do about an hour, hour and a half of school. At, at 10 a.m., she would be doing strength and agility. Um, Olivia's uh, in her first training session. And it's usually about most of my handles and um, a little bit of shooting. Uh, with her, uh, at her age, we don't push weights. We're just doing everything footwork. Come back and I have a skills training with my skills trainer for about an hour or two. All things offense. Um, Olivia's an incredible dribbler. Uh, so sometimes we put two and even three basketballs uh, for her to be working active off hands. Training those movements are very important. I practice with the prep team that are like four or five years older than me and I sometimes play with them too. What my focus on in training is mostly just my shot, making sure I just go straight up and down. And with my dribbling, I'm not that tall, which are my parents' fault, um, but I'm not that tall so I, I just need to get my hands down so I'm able to attack downhill. My favorite part of trainings is, is the footwork part of it because mostly people think of it as, since I have good handles, it's just my hands, but it's mostly all my footwork. So I like doing my footwork in my trainings and in my practice, it's all scrimmage. I love scrimmaging. There's a ton of athletes that are just amazing out there, and I kind of just want to be like all of them in different ways. Um, just bring all of their good habits all together and be like that. So I look up to Devin Booker for his ability to attack downhill and find the open spots, and Chris Ball for his ability to shoot over defenders, which is just crazy. Um, Stephen Curry, because um, he did the record uh, in his threes, and I'm also a shooter too. And then Diana Taurasi, just because Diana Taurasi is just amazing in general.
Liv is competitive about everything, <laughs> and I mean everything. Uh, she has to definitely be better than her sister <laughs> at everything they do. Uh, Tatiana, not so much, but she is a competitor. I, I do have them go one-on-one -on -one against each other just because, again, they're, they're sisters. Uh, they have the same uh, basketball dream, and so there's times I have to pull them apart. Uh, we are very competitive whenever we go downstairs and we play one-on-one. -on -one. Sometimes I get very frustrated, but we love on each other after. But yeah, we get very competitive. I'm more competitive and hard on myself than I thought I was. So whenever I lose or I make a mistake, I get pretty hard on myself. And that's one thing that I really realized about myself. The things that I do just to get over that is going out there again and saying and knowing what I did wrong and just knowing that I just need to fix that. So I go back out there and just know what I need to do next time. I'm the better cook. Yeah, probably. Probably I am the better cook. What I enjoy doing outside of sports is hanging out with my family and my sisters and I love to cook. She's actually really good at cooking and she's very creative when she cooks. She comes up with new things, comes up with creative ways to make even like macaroni and cheese. She'll be very creative. We all support each other in just talking and having conversations. We have a really close connection as a family. We really tell each other everything Especially like my dad, he knows a lot more about me than I do myself. I really look up to my dad, honestly. He's just, he's amazing. What really inspires me is obviously my dad, my family, my followers and friends. I really just wanna make everybody proud. That's what motivates me to keep getting better. The advice that I would give is just keep pushing and like don't let anybody get into your brain and get under your skin because you never know what's gonna happen and you could be great one day 